Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the 20th to the 26th of August. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. Interesting. That is a cancer trait. <laughs> it is. It definitely is. So I totally understand. I hear you. Um, we're going to get one more because that's what I want to do. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now, Taurus got this and Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, stay optimistic. Think positive. Hmm. Came flying out. Okay. And it came out sideways. So that means it's a challenge. When it comes out sideways, it's a challenge. Your challenge is codependency. This is a codependency thing. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to grow old alone. Um, you may be feeling like you're going through a midlife crisis. You're probably fe you may be feeling lonely. You may be feeling like you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to find my partner. I'm ready to find the one. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to come out of hiding. I feel as though some of you um, have may have taken quite a bit of time to become aware of who, what, when, where, you know, the whole nine yards, what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this upright. Um, this is awareness, taking time to reflect, okay? Time and you know nines are it signal it's time to move on. So you guys may have gone through a period of a loneliness or alone time, what or you're going to go through it whether you have or it's coming up. This is a time to reflect. Okay, time to reflect on where you where you want where you see your life. Oh, somebody has been naive. Okay. Um, So it feels, it looks as though somebody, you probably have been really investing in yourselves after being taken advantage of. Perhaps you've been lied to, perhaps that you've acted recklessly in the past. Maybe there's been some addictions that have caused you to act recklessly. I don't know. And you know, addictions, codependency, that can be, addiction, you know, there's so many different kinds of addictions, right? Anyway. There is a lack of, of teamwork, a lack of togetherness, a lack of cooperation here. Probably from another, another person that you're dealing with. Somebody has, maybe they have taken you for granted, Cancer. But it feels as though you are still reaping some reward. Okay, You're re reaping a reward from this, whatever it is. From taking the time out to reflect, you are receiving a reward. Look, she's taking what has grown and putting me in the basket. She's taking them home. So she's getting a reward. You are getting a reward in some way. Ooh, the moon card. Oh. Ooh. -hoo. Okay. So. So cancer, there is a run of bad luck, okay, there is. I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, there's a run of bad luck. Something has happened that has probably maybe made you go backwards a little bit even with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Maybe you you had to go backwards and hit a, a 
rough spot so that you could become aware, you know, so that you could reflect, so that you could wake up, okay? So, you know, with the moon card, it's like there's some hidden force here. There's something going on behind the scenes. There's some sort of addiction, perhaps, that has been masking your ability to find success, whatever this, whatever the success, success means to you. The Six of Wands reversed is lack of victory and success. And so there you are getting some sort of bad luck or bad karma or something because of some sort of injustice, okay? These are both cards of karma. I mean, all three of these cards are cards of karma. And they're right in the same lineup. Okay, none of them are really that good. Okay, they're really not. So if you, I mean, in reverse, and this one's upright, and this is some sort of illusion, okay? The moon card is an illusion, okay? So it feels as though these, you know, there's been an injustice. There's been a situation or something from the past that is now coming back around what goes around comes around okay so i feel as though there's been a a, a situation that is it may be because the ten of swords is an ending it's the death i mean it is it's a death it's an ending it's a end of a difficult situation perhaps loneliness but with a justice card reverse somebody has not wanted to be held accountable for their actions and maybe it's you I don't know and when you don't be held accountable for your actions bad karma will definitely kick you in the ass I'm not saying it's you I don't know could be somebody else um, there could have been a third party situation that'll bring you bad karma. Just saying. Okay, so I just wanted to, you know, let you know. Anyhow, um, there is a. Right around the corner. And the, right around the corner, perhaps you were the good guy. I don't know. Because around the corner, you're receiving some sort of a reward. You're receiving some sort of abundance. And like I said a minute ago, it's the end of a difficult time. You probably were going through a period of bad luck, a period of, of, of perhaps dealing with a karmic situation that had to be dealt with, okay? It had to be dealt with. It looks as though that is over now. That karmic situation that has been so rough, that rough patch you were going through, is probably over. It probably forced you to go within and reflect on who you are, Okay, and when you reflect on who you are and you make changes and you stop being naive and stop acting recklessly and you free yourself, you're receiving some sort of reward, some sort of abundance. Because the Ten of Pentacles next to the Seven of Pentacles, this is something that, you know, you are being given something that is solid, solid. So maybe it's something you deserve. Even though this justice card is reversed, maybe it's something that you deserve now that you've taken the time to figure it out, figure out a new plan, figure out who you are. Interesting, huh? Let's get some clarifiers. You guys are getting some sort of reward, okay? It's divinely guided. Whatever this is, it's divinely guided because I was seven and seven. So I feel like you guys are being given, you know, you guys are, you're still on top. You're still on top. You're winning. You win. You're winning something. And it's happening fast. And these are also the rods of love. The time is now with this eight. So I'm not sure, and, and usually my readings are love readings, if you guys are hitting the jackpot. Happiness. Rebirth. Renewal. Yeah. You guys are getting something really, really good. You should be feeling happy. 
your health is probably getting better. You're probably vibrating at a good level. You're attractive at this time, very attractive, happy. There's a lot of happiness here. This difficult time that you went through is over. That's what this is. Over here, it's like doom and gloom, where you go into this time of reflection to figure out, like I said at the beginning, who, what, when, where, how, the whole nine yards. You take that time to do it to so that you can move on to a better place because you've been acting recklessly and naive. Okay, so you come to this awareness, you wake up, you go through this awakening, whatever, and, and, and you, whatever, you let it ends, and then here we have this new happiness coming in. You guys are getting some sort of reward. And you're not even going to have to work that hard to get it. It's like it's just being given to you. Mm. And it's because you guys are doing, you did something right. Okay, you did. This is very noble. You've regained your concentration and your focus. And like I said about your attractiveness, you're probably feeling and looking very attractive at this time. Yeah, you guys are looking at life from a whole new perspective. No more hanging around where you used to be. That's exactly what this is. I see it. I'm not going to sacrifice myself like that anymore. You guys are restoring control, taking back control, leaving the addictions behind or the whatever it is. You guys are taking back control of your life with the devil reversed. Freeing yourself from a toxic situation. This is releasing a toxic situation. It is. I'm taking back control. It's restoring control. Restoring structure after deception. No, oh, see, there's been a lack of willpower, a lack of discipline. You guys had lost your mental strength to fight, but now you're fighting. Now you're fighting for what you deserve. You see, as we move over this way, it's fitting right in. This Ten of Wands reverse, this is making a conscious change, and this is Jesus Consciousness. You guys, in the Ten of Wands reverse, is making a conscious change to change your ways. So some of you that have done that are receiving a reward for doing it. Things have been stalled. And it seems like it's been really slow to come, this reward. You know, and it feels like... You may not even believe it. You may not believe it's coming. You may feel like, you know, I don't have anything to celebrate. But that negative thinking won't get you anywhere. So if you are thinking negative, you better stop right now because negative will bring negative. I see a negative Nelly here. I don't know who it is, but if you are dealing with a negative Nelly that brings you down, maybe that's where you're freeing yourself from. I don't know. You could be dealing with somebody who has brought you down. Like I said, brought you backwards. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's somebody that has made you unhappy. But you are definitely taking back the control. You're free. This is freedom from a toxic situation. So I don't know if you've been dealing with a fire sign. I don't know, but it could be any sign. Just saying. But I feel like you guys are making a conscious change to drop what doesn't serve you, and because you do that, you are receiving some sort of reward and abundance and wish fulfillment. But I have to tell you, there's really no rush. And you need to let go of the fear. You may have some fear. You may feel really conflicted about this. You may feel like you're really scared to, to let anybody hurt you. You know, you may feel like you don't trust. And that's what I see. It's like you don't trust at this point. But there's a passionate new opportunity being given to you. Like I said, you are, you are being given some new opportunity, or a reward of some sort. And this could be this could be a new sexual partner. It could be a new a new life partner. Okay, but this is something that is kind of too too passionate to pass up. It's like it's too hot to handle. Whatever it is, I feel as though. But you lack the courage and the confidence to maybe you lack the courage and the confidence to accept it because of the negative thinking again. Do not let the negative thinking hold you back. Please. 
There's a passionate new beginning here. And it's exciting. And you earned it. But you're afraid. I think you're going really back and forth. This is power struggles, conflicts. Resisting. Resisting change. You know, maybe you're afraid of love. And so you're burying yourself in everything but love. But you want love. And you're being offered a new opportunity. But it feels like you you are really concentrated on everything but love. But now there's a new opportunity that could lead to love. But I feel as though, you know, there's a little bit of bitterness still. There's probably a little bit of anger. You may be a little cold. You may be a little closed off. But there is an opportunity for love this week. So Cancer, I feel like there is an opportunity for love. You may not have expected it, but it is something that you manifested, maybe even subconsciously, because I feel like you guys have made some conscious changes to release what doesn't serve you and bring in what does. And you may not even know this was happening, but I do see wish fulfillment is coming. Your deep down rooted wishes, you know? And happiness, there's a lot of happiness to be had. With a lot of growth with the sun and the ace of wands and the ace of cups, you have an opportunity for something really beautiful here. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of you receiving some sort of offer of love or giving an offer of love to somebody because you're ready. I'm going to put this over here and this over here. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. But that's in the past. Right? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Remember I said that negative Nelly? Think positive. There's an opportunity for you to fall in love. Talk to you later.